Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a little bit of a break from that podcast series that we've been doing and I thought we could just hang out a little bit and do my summer makeup routine together. I don't think I've done a makeup video on this channel in years, I think. I think it's been years. So I thought that we could just chat and hang out while I do my makeup um, and I could show you guys the products that I use. My makeup routine doesn't change too, too often, but every once in a while I will switch something out for something else. I use very minimal makeup, at least for me, compared to what I do other times of the year during the summer and I really just like to try to keep it glowy, a little bit dewy and light with SPF added in here. So I'm going to show you how I got this look. It's really nothing fancy at all but it's what works for me and I get questions sometimes about what products I use so I hope this answers all of your questions. So without further ado, let's get on with the video and I'm going to be barefaced in three, two, one. Okay, so you can clearly see that my face is a little bit lighter than the rest of my body, but we're gonna fix that. I'm just really careful with the amount of SPF I put on my face. That's like the one thing that I just don't mess around with. We don't want any more premature wrinkles than we need. So I'm gonna start with the Supergoop Glow Screen. It's SPF 40, and this is pretty much what I put under my makeup every day so it's a sunscreen but it's got a little bit of a shimmer hence the glow so i'm just gonna put that everywhere it is pretty like it's basically sheer but it does have a little bit of color as you can see so i'm like i'm shimmery i'm a little bronze but not really bronze but i more wear it I actually put too much but i more wear it for the spf aspect and I really like it because it's it's thin, you know? So I don't want huge, heavy layers of things on my face when it's 95 degrees outside. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'm still using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I've gotten a couple questions from like friends and even just in my comments from people asking how to not make your makeup look like splotchy with this stuff. Um, and really I would just say my advice would be less is more. I really mainly put it on my T-zone where I have bigger pores and that's really it. But like pea, pea sized amounts, like half pea sized amounts on my forehead and on my cheeks. And that's really it. I don't really work it too much down here. I will put a little bit on my chin, but you really don't need a whole lot. So that would be my advice especially in the summer again we're going for thin layers don't want anything too thick just sitting on your skin and for that reason for the summer i skip the elf halo glow i know some people just mix this with their moisturizer and do it that way um i just i don't want like all those layers on my face and honestly the glow screen gives you that shimmeriness anyway that comes through the bb cream so i just feel like right now the help the elf halo glow thing is just a little unnecessary and it would probably be a little too light for me honestly so in the summertime and honestly it's becoming a habit now all year round but especially during the summertime i pretty much only exclusively wear bb cream this is my favorite one it's the dream bb pure cream by maybelline you can get one that has spf in it but this is the one that has salicylic acid in it if you have more acne prone skin if i didn't use the glow screen then i would probably get the spf one but since i have spf from that i don't need extra spf so this is going to make my face look even lighter but we're going to fix that with bronzer and blush and stuff so don't worry this is just a double sided elf blending brush and i'm just going to push this into my skin so with foundation or bb cream or anything like that i tend to just like press rather than circular motions just so things don't get streaky especially because we do have a couple of layers already on the face so we're just pushing it in there and you can see already there is still like a shimmer from the the glow screen that you can see come through so it's funny, this is already the medium shade of this BB cream and I feel like I could go one darker, but there's 
no way that I would be able to put off a medium slash dark. It goes light, medium, 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 dark, and then dark. And there's no way I can pull off a medium dark. I'm not that tan yet. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna make it work. And honestly, when I'm like really, really tan, like end of July, early August, sometimes I'll just put concealer on and call it a day. But you know what? This isn't that bad. And then I bring it down the neck. Even though my neck is pretty much the, s the same skin tone. But just so we're all on the same page here, you know? Okay, for concealer, this top makes me feel really brolic and I'm not brolic at all. Why do I look swole? This is weird. Anyway, for concealer, I'm still using the same concealer. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Long Wear. It is really good and this bottle has lasted me forever. I do wanna go pick up a cheaper, maybe like an Elf or maybe a Maybelline Fit Me kind of concealer in a darker shade because this pretty soon like probably after this weekend when I'm in the sun is not gonna work for me anymore. But for now, this will have to do. So I'm putting a very little bit. I've learned this new technique of putting it in the corner and then putting it here in an upwards motion. It kind of makes you look lifted. So that's the look we're going for. And then the T-zone. And I'm sure I have a blemish or two that I could cover, but honestly, my skin has not been bad lately and being in the sun and stuff is just good for your skin anyway, so. And with the added color, you can't really see too many of the blemishes, which we love, we love that, so. Mostly just the T zone. I'll do my eyes last. Any little blemishes I have. I have to be careful with concealer though, because in the summertime, if you are covering just a blemish, but you don't put that concealer anywhere else, I have, that almost like acts as a barrier between your skin and the sun, even if it doesn't have SPF in it. And I've gotten weird tan lines and weird patches on my face from where I put concealer. So if I'm, if I know I'm gonna lay out in the sun and go to the beach or the pool or whatever, I tend to just not put concealer on so that I don't get those patchy spots because then you look, a little bit of like a Dalmatian, like a reverse Dalmatian, and it's not really cute. So I woke up with some crazy dark circles under my eyes this morning for no reason. I think I got a good nine and a half hours last night, which is rare for me. So why I woke up with so many dark circles, I could not tell you. I am going to go in with a Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in the shade 15 Light, but it's 15 light, but it looks kind of dark. I don't know, it gives me added coverage, which is kind of nice, but you wouldn't expect it to look as dark as it does. I'm gonna go in with my little triangle powder puff and I'm mainly gonna concentrate under my eyes. I'm using my camera as my mirror right now. I just wanna set this so that it doesn't crease, um, but I don't wanna make my skin like too, too matte because, you know, Everyone likes to look a little dewy in the summer. Funny story, the other day I was out and it was a really hot, humid day and I had had my makeup on all day. This was more in like the evening time and I was just, I was just sweating and some really sweet girl came up to me and she was walking by and she was like, your skin is glowing. Like you look so dewy and so good. And I didn't have the heart to tell her that I was just sweating but you know, we're all going for that, that dewy look, I guess. So the main reason I do put this on though is just because I feel like my makeup is gonna slide off if I don't. So it gives me a little bit of security. And honestly, as you go outside and you start to sweat, you'll look dewy anyway. So I just wanna lock it in. I don't go over my nose though, because my nose gets really, really dry with powder and I like the tip to stay a little bit shiny. You can't really tell on camera, but it looks a little bit more dewy. And then I just want to set my eyelids really quick because I get really oily eyelids, but eyeshadow primer has never done anything for me. So I just use powder. 
somebody is like vacuuming or something with or blowing leaves i don't know what's happening but i hear like a whirring sound i plan to put music over this video so hopefully you can't hear that but it's annoying me okay really quickly i'm gonna go with, in with my anastasia brow gel it's clear and normally people do this i think after they fill in their brows but i do it first just to get them all going in the same direction and then like lock them in so i'm just gonna do that really quickly and then while that sets i will do my bronzer and my blush and then i will come back to that so still use my favorite cream contour stick which is the milk makeup in the shade baked i believe i've been using it for like two or three years now and this is only my second bottle in those two or three years so they last you a really long time and this is i don't even know what brush this is it's it doesn't even have a brand on it i think i got like a cheap set from amazon but this is like a stipple contour brush and i just like to take it off the stick itself and then i just press it in i love this stuff i wear it every day and it just warms up my face and also makes you just look you know more more chiseled more model-esque i guess sculpted if you will <laughs> so i don't put any on my nose just because i have a small nose i feel like i don't need it but i will define the jawline a little bit look at that so easy and it definitely makes a big difference for blush i'm gonna use this really cool clear blush that i found on amazon i'll have it linked in my storefront but it goes on clear but it's supposed to bring out your natural like ph or the ph in your skin i guess is supposed to bring out the blush you have to blend it pretty quickly but it's a nice light pink for the summer and i think it looks really good and it was really cheap honestly and as it like oxidizes it starts to become more visible and it's subtle it's perfect for summertime and even like if you didn't want to put bb cream or any makeup on but you just wanted to like after the beach or something just plop this on your skin it looks really good i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose you just have to like i said quickly kind of blend it out because it'll it'll stain but it's really cool it's supposed to like i think it's supposed to look a little different on everybody because your ph is supposed to bring it out i don't know i probably sound stupid because i'm not 100 percent sure but it looks good look at that and i look it has like a shimmer to it as well so it makes you look kind of highlighted i really like it okay i have you more zoomed in now hello hi i'm gonna do my brows now if you've known me for a while if you've followed me for a while you know this is my favorite part my brows is like a must every day sort of step i hate how light my eyebrows i shouldn't say i hate it but my eyebrows are very light if you've ever had any experience with microblading please let me know your experience because i really am thinking about it but i'm scared of the recovery so please let me know your thoughts but i'm going in with the winky Lux eyebrow pencil i think i got this in a subscription box or something i'm using the travel size because my main one ran out and i'm waiting for the new one to come in the mail so for now i use this as a backup but yeah it is the winky Lux eyebrow pencil and i want to say it's like all one it's the unibrow universal brow pencil so it only comes in one shade but it's supposed to work for everyone don't ask me how that works but it it does i don't know so i'm just quickly filling this in i don't do anything crazy you guys know if you've been with me for a while i don't change the shape or anything i just want to make them darker and they don't have to be identical twins i will even take cousins i don't really care too much well, i mean i care but you know what i mean okay okay so i do put a little bit of eyeshadow on this is the eyeshadow palette that i have been using it's by wet and wild guys this thing was like four dollars and it has the perfect like neutral shades because it's summer i haven't really used any of them except for the light ones um but i will be using them for a special occasion or whatever right now i'm going with the absolute lightest one 
possible and I just put this mainly I put this here almost to act like a eyeshadow primer just so that my eyelids don't get oily throughout the day because then my makeup will run so that's that's really the only reason that I use it if I don't my eyeliner will run my mascara will run and it's just not cute so between putting concealer powder and a little bit of eyeshadow it does the job for me okay I did my eyeliner off camera because I can't talk and concentrate and do it at the same time it would just not look good but I do use the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid liquid waterproof eyeliner easy glide waterproof liquid eyeliner it's really good I like it it really it really doesn't run um, and I try to do like the thinnest thinnest line possible I do do setting spray before mascara this is just the elf makeup mist and set it's like five dollars again how much it really does I'm not sure but it makes me feel better so even if it's like a placebo effect that's fine I want to sometimes I do this sometimes I don't today I'm gonna do it this is the NYX jumbo eyeliner pencil in white and I'm just gonna highlight my inner corners here I don't know I feel like the glow the look I went for was kind of glowy today sort of not really um, so I just want to put a little bit there okay now we do mascara I set my face with the spray before mascara so that I don't have to close my eyes after I put on the mascara and get the mascara everywhere under here so I use two mascaras um, which I will show you now. The first one is the Better Than Sex Mascara, and everyone says how amazing this is. My best friends, people here on YouTube, I personally don't really like it on its own. It just doesn't make my lashes as thick as I would want. It does, like, spread them out nicely, which is props to the actual wand, but it doesn't make them as thick as I would like them to be. So I put this on as the first layer and I've also stopped putting mascara sometimes on the bottom so I'm not going to do it today because that's when it starts to smudge and I think it makes it look darker under there and that's just not what we want for summer. So I'm going to leave that alone on the bottom and then this is my favorite one and I need a new bottle. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. It's my favorite one. I try so many different mascaras and I always always come back to this one and it's just so good this is what makes it really thicker like you can really see the lashes from a distance and it just looks so good ready ready for this difference ready look at that I don't know I see a difference so and this is pretty much the last thing that I'm going to do is the mascara. And that's it. I want to take any makeup off of my lips. I do have highlighter, but honestly, I feel dewy enough. So, I'm going to I'm going to leave it alone. And then my go-to in the summer is Aquaphor. I love when people ask me what lip gloss I'm using and it's like no no dear it's aquaphor I love this stuff I put it on at least two three times a day and it's so good and then anything that's left over it works as lotion and I can just put it on my hands and that's it guys this is the dewy summery makeup look I am gonna leave my hair up like this for now but that's it guys this is what I've been doing um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and even if you took nothing away from it I hope that you had fun hanging out with me a little bit today thank you so much for watching I appreciate you being here and I will see you in my next video bye guys